Though this morning, people in Stewart finally have an answer about a proposed drug rehab facility. It's been a heated, controversial topic for months. One of the issues at play here at the city would green light rezoning. Brooke Chow getting us caught up on this one after a city commission meeting just last night. So, Brooke, what decisions were made? A lot of big decisions were made and uh, you know paying attention to the show this morning we're talking a lot about the development happening here on the treasure coast a lot of people that have been here for a long time are are thinking to themselves whoa where is all of this new development coming from and how is this going to impact me and this was certainly a conversation that was very controversial over the past few weeks so i'll get right to it for you during the meeting last night it was unanimously voted no in terms of bringing that sober home to southeast indian street again big, big topic here in Stewart. A lot of people on social media saying if we have the space, then yes, we should allow them to come in. And then you have the other half saying no more development, no more traffic here in the city. So to recap a little bit of what exactly I'm talking about, like I said, Southeast Indian Street Perseverance Recovery Center wanted to come in and turn that vacant senior facility into a 140 bed drug and alcohol recovery center. Again, big deal here in Stewart because there's one just right down the road. So those were some of the claims that people were bringing to these city commissioner meetings. A lot of people showing up week after week, wanting their voices heard. Even Sheriff William Snyder weighing in publicly, being opposed to all of this, saying this could bring more traffic to the area and public safety concerns. So after we got that unanimous no yesterday, we reached out to William Snyder about a statement that he has for people waking up this morning in store. So I wanna take you to that statement and read, read it to you exactly what he says. He says in quote, well, everyone agrees that providing professional counseling for victims of alcohol and drug dependency is critically important. Any business model drawing patients from around the country to a 140 bed facility on Indian Street was excessive in scale and size and in the wrong location. I commend the city of Stuart commissioners for their tough vote this evening and I stand with them 100%. So again, residents waking up here in Stuart, the answer is no on the development of that sober home on Indian Street. All right, Brooke, as you've been reporting on this, you know, the decision no, at least for now, you know, is this a final closed matter or is there room for it to come back on the table? I'm glad you mentioned that, Ashley, because I say the words for now because Perseverance Recovery Center could probably find another place on the Treasure Coast and Stuart, maybe in the Palm Beaches that wants to develop on their business. So for now in Stuart on Indian Street, it is a no. But again, you, you never know in the future where they could develop. Yeah, we'll see if it goes anywhere from here. Brooke, thank you.